The siege on Ueda Castle took longer than expected, and the Uesugi army was now far behind the Takeda procession. But Kenshin was determined to stop Shingen, and thus ordered a fast-paced march to Kiso Bass that led directly to Gifu Castle, where the ambitious Nobunaga Oda resided. Alright, so here's the next stage, as you already know, the Siege of Gifu Castle, and you can tell it's a siege battle, obviously. So, all we have to do, well, for the field section anyways, all we have to do is defeat all of the Oda officers to win. If I fall, if the enemy takes over the main camp, or if the time runs out, we lose. But then obviously, once we enter Gifu Castle, we have to defeat Nobunaga. But, uh, anyways... The equipment, the weapon, as you already know, we still have the Ichimonji, and uh, that's not going to change anytime soon. So, anyways, items for the fact that the last part was a siege battle, I'm going to keep the items like so. The bodyguards, you already know. Unit info for the Uusugi army, you have Kenshin Uusugi, which is me, Saramitsu Usami. Kagesunu Nawe, Kanesugu Nawe, Kagie Kakizaki, Yataro Oni Kojima, Takahiro Kitajo, and Kagesugu Amakazu. For the Oda army, you have Nobunaga Oda with Ranmaru Mori, Hideyoshi Hashiba with Koroku Hachisuka, Mitsuhide Ikechi with Hidemitsu Ikechi, Keiji Maeda, Katsui Shibata, and No Oichi, Toshiye Maeda, and Noimasa Sasa. Alright, let's do it. So, for the field section, I'm not concerned about it's more the castle. You are indeed elusive, as the rumors say. Truly, a man of your abilities can be likened to a god. Should I say monster? A monster is what stood past me, a god. <laughs> Gifu should have fallen easily. This Nobunaga cannot be underestimated. Great Bisha Montan, God of War, grant me the power to strike down my foe. Gods, grant me strength. God will guard the rear. Only Kojima and Takizaki take the left and right flank. I will leave the front door. Alright, so I'm going to take out the troops here first before I do anything else. Alright, now we're gonna go and lure Katsui. I come forth. And do not get hit by those cannons. That's never a fun time. Alright, so we have to lure Katsui out because uh, I'm almost about to, well not because, but the fact of the matter is I, there we go. Half of that true Musu attack nearly took, uh, eh, it was definitely half for sure. Anyways, so we have that taken care of, we defeated Katsui. Now we have to go and defeat Hideyoshi. However, we have to wait for the siege ramp to actually go up. 
So we have to defend the siege ramp from uh, even going up. I mean, you can go around, but I'm going to wait right here. I'll tell you, I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but it seems to me that true Musu attacks deal a lot more, I mean, obviously, but back in Dynasty Warriors 4, I never really equipped the Wear Musu, and part of me thinks I should have, but, you know, now I learned from that, and for the fact that this is a skill that you could get just by getting skill points, it will be very easy for me to get that, especially when we get to Extreme Legends, because when we get to Extreme Legends, I don't have to worry about the skill points being capped out. But I'll explain that when we get there. And I'll tell you, this is what, my fifth uh, character story mode I'm going through. And it feels like I have so much more to go through. Even though I know there aren't that many characters in this game. It feels like I have a lot more to do. And I know I do. But anyways, now the siege ramp is up. We'll go down, defeat Hideyoshi, and we'll take him out. I could just wait for the door, but meh. That's gonna fucking hurt. You really gotta be fucking kidding me. I was gonna go straight for Hideyoshi, but I got sent flying every fucking time as any opportunity presented itself, and he pretty much got his health back because of it. Well, there goes my KO off of that one. We won't be far behind. That really hasn't been that much of a problem throughout this Let's Perfect so far. I am hoping that's not going to be the case down the road because that would suck. Anyways, KG is next. Care to indulge me? I've been looking to fight you for a while. I mean, at least there's no real consequence like in Dynasty Warriors 4. That was an epic fail. How the fuck did I miss him? There we go. Really? Alright, KG is down. However, he is not out. Because, uh... He will appear later. And I believe he will also appear at the Kawa Nakajima Showdown. But I'll talk about that when we get there. Alright, Toshihie is down. A splendid show of force. Ranmaru, I will withdraw here. I leave this to you. Hmm. A present. There, Nobunaga. Alright, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go for Ranmaru. I'm gonna try to go for Ranmaru first, and then go for Nobunaga. The 
amazing skill. May the God show you mercy. All right, Rumbo is down. And then I'll go for Nobunaga, and I gotta be quick. Because I said the last time we played this stage, if you are fast enough, you can actually go for both Ramaru and Nobunaga. But, um, if you're having a hard time fighting Nobunaga, I mean Ramaru, just go straight for Nobunaga. Is that the face of a man who will build a new world? Alright, now we don't have to worry about him retreating into Kifu Castle. I mean, you could defeat him. It doesn't matter. Because if, he, if you defeat him here, he will eventually retreat into Kifu Castle. And if you let him go into Kifu Castle, then you'll defeat him there no matter what. So, anyways. All right. Noble Naga is down. All right. So all that's left is Mitsuhide and Hidemitsu. No, Oichi, and Narimasa. We won't be far behind. All right. I'll try to go for Mitsuhide quickly because. So this is the war god of the old world. Let's see here. He does appear to be adept in warfare, but he will soon fall. Tatsumasu, send out messages. We are withdrawing. Mitsuhide is down. May the God show you mercy. Most impressive. I shall withdraw for now. All right. So besides No, we have Kazumasu and Nagahide. But I'm not really concerned about those two, to an extent, just for the fact that KG showed up. But I have to defeat everybody anyways in order to uh, move on. So might as well go for those two first, and we'll save Noel for last. But if I'm not mistaken, and I know I said this the last time we played this stage, for the fact that the objective is to defeat every Oda officer, the stage could potentially end at any time. Because there's no the only real commander you're really facing is Nobunaga, and if you defeat him early, uh, no other general will have that same type of commander stats where you actually have to deliver the final blow to end the stage. So. They could really, any of the allies could actually take out the final general, and it'll end right then and there. We shall not be far behind. Forward. Anyways, so we defeated both uh, Kazumasu and. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's gonna take a bit. Oh. Why am I trying to go up the siege ramp when I already know that, uh. I bow to your skill. Anyways, let's just go for Null. Uh, 
go for Ouichi first. Shit. is down and no is down and so much for getting that weapon huh anyways so that part took me 11 minutes and 26 seconds so, that's not that bad. Anyways, that's the field section. Now we will head for the castle. So we'll save, and let's continue. Alright, so here is the real objective for me. I actually have to fulfill the special objective in order to get to the other stage which in this case will be the Kawa Nakajima Showdown, which is basically a rematch. So... Yeah, so that's the objective right there. And unlike what I usually do, where I try to find items and weapons and all that, here I'm just going to go straight for the mission because they don't give you that, I mean, they give you a nice amount of time, but not enough time for me to find all the items and all that stuff, so I'm just going to go straight for one floor to the other floor. I'll defeat the officers and generals inside the, uh, inside the castle, but I'm not gonna try to find items so for the first floor you actually have to get through the first floor within four and a half minutes once that four minutes and 30 seconds pass you automatically fail the first floor and you need to make sure you pass three of them ideally in a perfect scenario you would want to try to pass all of them that way you're guaranteed the uh, Kawa Nakajima Showdown stage, but you can only fuck up on one. If you fuck up on two, that's it. You'll go. You'll you'll be going to the Battle of Anigawa. I don't know why that took me a while to say. Anyways. Allow a warmonger like you to rule this land. All right. Now Mitsuhide. My body may perish, but my will. All right. So Mitsuhide is down for the count, and that's the first floor taken care of. Like I said before, there will be certain times where I'm just going to have to let shit go. And in this case, I'm going to have to let the items and weapons on the floors go. So the first floor, like I said before, and there are four floors all together, which includes the top floor. So, three floors of this nonsense. And then, the uh, top floor. Anyways, so the first floor, you have to get through the, the entire floor within four and a half minutes. The second floor, four and a half minutes. The third floor, three minutes. And then the top floor, basically defeating Nobunaga, you have to defeat Nobunaga in two and a half minutes or less. Which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, might as well rack up a few more KOs. I 
I mean, I am getting a lot, especially for the fact that I have my true Musu equipped. Yeah, I only went for those troops before because I had the, uh... The wine, so it gave me, uh, full, uh... Full Musu. Anyways, uh... There we go. I mean, if I'm getting 10 KOs per Musu attack, I am totally fine with that. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure, for the fact that this is here, I might as well just... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, now let's finish the floor up. And I said before a while back, and I'll say it again. When you're in that Musu state, or that slow motion state, whatever you want to call it, you can actually stop your Musu attack by letting go of the circle button and do actual attacks like I did there. And that'll still count towards your Musu KOs if you're trying to get Musu KOs for your skill point total. And uh, that was not supposed to happen, but okay. Alright, Katsui is down. That's bullshit. Alright. Let's go. So, that's the second floor down. As long as I complete the third floor, I'm pretty much guaranteed the, uh, stage I'm trying to go for, which is the uh Kawanakajima showdown. I can still see Shingen's back. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Ah, that was not smart. There we go. Shit, that's the only other fucking obstacle I'm gonna have to worry about, is those fucking ninjas that attack from above. Alright, so who's over here? Kazumasu. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. That was not supposed to happen, but okay. They're both down. And now let's head over to the uh, staircase. Quickly. Because I only have three minutes for this one. Uh, shit. Okay, over there. Allow you to what the fuck was that? 
True war has purpose and is never senseless. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. Run. Holy shit. That kind of scared me a little bit. I don't know how much time I had left before it actually failed, but... Anyways, two and a half minutes to defeat Nobunaga. Not going to be easy, but... I'll see what I can do. Pesky little fuckers, aren't they? Anyways, Nobunaga is almost down. And there we go. Four for four. Okay, I was trying to aim for 4 for 4, and <laughs> I really thought I was going to fuck up that third floor. I was freaking the fuck out almost, but anyways, it's done. This body knows no mercy. And that's a win. Alright, and I should bring it up that if you're trying to go for the Battle of Anigawa, you won't know that you passed, I mean, you won't know that you fucked up the mission until the very end. So you do need to keep track on how many you passed and how many you failed. Because I honestly thought that there was some type of cue that would give it away. But boy was I fucking wrong. Anyways, I know I'm not going to be using this weapon, but I like to have that for now, just because. So I'll swap that, that one for that one. Uh... This card, this card, items, I doubt I got anything good. Nope, nothing. Here's our bodyguard experience points. Here's our experience points, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be at max rank by the end of it. Or not. All my stats are at max, and I'm not complaining about that. And I'm definitely not complaining that my rank isn't at max, because I could... I could still get skill points so that works for me anyways so I said it before and I will say it again Kenshin Uzuki has when it comes to default stats he has the highest horse attack or mount attack so to speak so anyways let's see how many points we got I'm hoping to get at least or have at least 1200 points by the end of it There we go. Alright. Okay. Now. The real question is, what should I equip? Uh, Potence definitely seems kind of nice right now. So I also maxed out Potence. Uh... Rage, for sure. I don't think I'm going to need discern this time around. So, I'm going to... Stay away from that. So, if anything... Let's hit drive for one. I don't think I'm going to need any more range. So... Let's go with... I guess I'll go with Vigor. And that's all of our points. So, 
that's that. We'll save. And there you have it. You have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go and complete the last part of Kenshin Story Mode. And that's the Kawanakajima Showdown. Because if you actually fulfill three of the four special missions inside Gifu Castle, then you will be able to get to the Kawanakajima Showdown. And we have done that. So, in the next part, we will go through that stage. It's going to take a long time, I'll tell you that much, because there is a unique item in this stage, and the requirements for that are... It's a big task. And, uh... I will definitely get that done as well in the next part. So with that being said, peace out.